High Rise is a novel by J.G. Ballard and has been adapted by Amy Jump and Ben Wheatley into this film. And um, there are elements of Ballard within Amy and Ben's screenplay and there are new elements that are, that, that are sort of very much um, authored by Amy and Ben. I think this, this film will appeal to people because it has a mixture of of really intense humour and really hopefully good performances but also a lot of darkness and in that very Ballardian way a kind of social comment. It's about social class, it's about hierarchy, it's about letting your inhibitions out, it's about finding the primal physical animal inside you. And the high rise is really symbolic of society. Um, breaking down and what happens when these people who are living this life and on the surface everything's perfect and they're exclusive and they're allowed to move into this building but really they're just pretending to be who they're not and it all in a very extreme Ballardian way goes completely <laughs> mad. The reason we wanted to adapt High Rise was that it read to us like it had almost come of age, you know. It was reading more and more like the pages of a newspaper than it was a, a novel, you know, and you could, you could see it reflected again and again in things that were happening around us, so it felt like now was the time to kind of um, bring it to the screen. It's essential to Ballard's satire that they're still obediently doing their jobs as TV producers or doctors or whatever. Um, they're still putting on their suits and packing their briefcases every day. And it's only when they go home to enter their private lives, as it were, that they become these sort of feral cavemen. I mean, there's an element of, of, of Ballard where, you know, although he's presenting this grim reality, this decay, this you know, devolution into, into, into primal violence and almost kind of primitive society, um, it's also you know, a notch above comedy. It's uh, in the 70s, beginning of the Thatcher reign. I don't know, J.G. Ballard is, is reflecting on, on, on society, on British society and modernism. You know, it's the beginning, of, you know, we've got, we've got the brutalist architecture kicking off. I mean, I read the script and it was sensational and clear and funny and dark and true. And the ideas within it, I think, are still very contemporary about social engineering and how people behave if they're allowed to. Ben is the classic guerrilla filmmaker where he's, he wants to be there to capture the magic of the moment. He's not there to manipulate it, he's there to capture it. I really genuinely feel like he's probably one of the most important directors we have certainly in England and possibly the world. The relevance for today is that there, there's lots of little elements that he was kind of getting right. I mean, the thing that struck me when I reread it was the, the way that the people in the tower would film everything on Super 8, on cine cameras, and then project it back to share it with everybody else in the building, which felt very much like um, social media. The other thing was that the, the kind of increasing need for the rich and elites in our society to separate themselves from the poor. It'll appeal to Ballard fans, people who like the J.G. Ballard tale told in the way that he intended. And um, the film has got a, a very strong, but it's like a, it's a party that starts and it doesn't stop. So it's a, a film with a lot of energy in it. And I hope that, that people will enjoy that.